We all know that cats land on their feet and that toast always lands butter side down. But what happens when you duct tape a piece of toast to a cat and throw them out of a window? There's only one way to find out on serious science. Hello and welcome to Serious Science. I'm Alex Skates and we're here to find out which law of physics wins out in battle. Cats always land on their feet or toast always lands butter side down. I'm here with serious scientist AJ Reed who's going to help me find out. AJ, what do you think will happen? Well, I couldn't say, Skates. I drew this diagram, but it didn't really explain much. I can't wait to find out what really happens. Well, without further ado, let's find out. But first, let's hear from Dr. Science and his thoughts on the matter. Well, if you take the initial height of the cat as H, the mass of the toast is M, the distance fallen is S, and the time taken is T, add it all up, and then times it by zero, that is precisely how many fucks I give. Thank you, Dr. Science. Now, AJ, are you ready to find out what happens when we throw this cat out of a window, duct tape and butter's toast? I'm ready. Then let's do this right after the break. Welcome back to Serious Science. Before the break, we were attempting to find out what happens if we throw a cat out the window, duct tape this and buttered toast. It's a question that baffled all of our science experts. Now, AJ, take the science away. So, what happens when you throw a cat out of the window taped to some buttered toast? I don't think we're supposed to find out. Next week, we find out who wins in a fight between a kangaroo and a senior politician. I fully support almost adequate productions films, and that's why I love physics.